This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the awesome chat on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, this is the show where we talk with awesome people around and outside sometimes of Pittsburgh uh, doing techie and awesome things, you know, sometimes just on the internet. Uh, we got a fun one today. And uh, of course, you can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Subscribe to the awesome chat on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio. Google Play Podcast, as well as the video versions of the Awesome Cast YouTube and Facebook page. And of course, you can drop us a line, Awesome Cast on the Twitter, Awesome Cast at SorgatronMedia.com. And please support the show at Sor- uh, sorry, Patreon.com slash Awesome Cast. So uh, this is this is this is a little podcast trade-off today, because I was just on <laughs> their show that you can <laughs> check out later. But we have the fellows here from the Dream Aloud podcast, uh, Dan and Ben. Uh, Dan Shifo and Ben Hall here with go. us today. Throwing up the title so I remembered everybody's name. I didn't mix them up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, hey, see, we're happy this, to be here. This is yeah. what happens when you move the video because then you're just like, oh, I got to make sure this syncs up and this right, and right. this. this. Right. But, but you guys, uh, let's say you guys are doing the Dream Loud podcast. You guys are just, you know, just into the double digits, I think, last we knew, right? Sure. Yes. Uh, yeah. So so tell us what tell us about the Dream Loud podcast, guys. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll start. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So, I guess there's a lot to unpack there, but I'll yeah. I'll, I'll start not so far back. Yeah, in, in it was the a, past. it was in September. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, and, well, you were doing the the brutal beer fest and for your Dream Loud Studio, right? Yeah. So basically, I had reached out to the people that do brutal beer fest, and if you don't know what that is, it's an event that happens at Mr. Small's Theater. Right. Uh, maybe they have. It's only the second one they've done, so I don't know where they had it the first year, but the, the Baroness second was one. Playing. Yeah, Baroness was the yeah. headliner, but then a ton of local uh, metal bands from the Pittsburgh area. And mm-hmm. when I say local, I don't want you to think bad because they were all awesome yeah. bands that played. Like we have a I pretty was, awesome uh, uh, scene the, here. In the Pittsburgh. metal scene yeah. in Pittsburgh is yes. ridiculous. It so many talented artists. It, and great. if you want more on that, go back to our metal edge interview. That's cool. Right. Yeah, 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 right on. Good plug. Um, so I had reached out to them to volunteer just to basically hang out and get to meet more of the musicians from the Pittsburgh area. Because as much as I've traveled around and played music, I'm not that connected with the Pittsburgh music scene. And I want to make uh, that needs to change. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so I was talking to Dan. He was just checking in with me because yeah, he's such a good friend. Just, yeah, seeing how it went. And in the middle of talking to him about that, I just basically said, you know what? Like. We have a lot of good conversations. I wonder if yeah. other people would like to listen into this. Mm-hmm. So I just said, hey, let's just, we're planning on hanging Started. out Thursday anyways. Let's just turn it into a podcast and see what we could do with it. Ben brought I've got a bunch over. of audio yeah. gear anyways, so it's not like I had to buy anything else. I'm right. like, I've got everything in house. Let's just do that instead of hanging out. Because yeah, we were, we were just going to hang out and it just kind of turned into like, well, we're, podcast. Yeah. We talked about this on our show earlier, but um, we're kind of workaholics by... yeah. By design, it's it's it just kind of happens, right? It's not like sure. we're trying to work. It's just mm-hmm. everything we do. It's constantly progressing and working on something new. So mm-hmm. it's like that's just kind of always moving forward, right? Yeah. So fun for us is doing more. Totally. <laughs> yeah, and and having no okay, we have to go here for this and for this for two hours, and then we have to go for the, this later, and yeah, it's just like a jam packed schedule. But it's you know, but it's fun though, and what mm-hmm. in in a crazy way, um, right? It's, it's just it's just really fun. Yeah. So. Basically, I guess before we get into anything else, uh, the only thing I wanted to add there is we really didn't know what it was going to be like or what the <laughs> format was when we started. We, we just kind of sat down around the table. Yeah. And, and I yeah. thought and I thought that that was very important when we got started because um, there's a whole other bunch of things I do in my life where I'm way more, I'm super analytical, so I'm way <laughs> over calculated about a lot of things. But right. I felt like this thing was a really important thing to just go out and start doing it and not mm-hmm. overthink things too much. And yeah, it's really blossomed because of that. So sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of that end where it's just like, <laughs> yeah, let's do whatever we want. Like, like Ben reins me in. And, uh, but, but I think, um, a lot of that and, and just kind of 
along those lines. We did it for the first the first day. Um, and we sat down. We're like, yeah, we'll we'll do this. We'll talk for an hour. We ended up talking for four hours. Um, and and that first night ended up being our first four episodes. So mm. we just kind of you know piecemealed a lot of that together. Um, and it was just really fun to do and, and to talk. And, um, you know, I think we kind of used those first four episodes to kind of introduce ourselves, what we were about, what we wanted to do. Um, and now we've kind of evolved into, um, you know, just kind of having guests on like yourself and, and just inspiring guests. I mean, we look at everything that you're doing with Sorgatron Media, with awesome cast, with awesome chat, uh, you know, Fishing Without Bait and, and um, you know, Wrestling Mayhem and just all the shows and what you've built. Um, I just think it's really inspiring. And, and I think my goal in all of it is just to inspire people and help people and kind of, and, and we want to help people live out their dreams. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, and, and I guess, you know, kind of giving some of our background, you know, I work in, in newspaper industry. Um, I do, you know, freelance for the Associated Press and, and I work for USA Hockey and cover the Penguins and Steelers in addition to high school basketball and college uh, stuff and local school boards. Uh, and, and Ben plays bass, um, you know, in a national act uh, with Lacey Sturm. Um, but I think a lot of it for us is we, we say that, and, hey, what do you do? Um, well, I, I cover the Penguins and Steelers and, and we get that reaction. And I know Ben gets it too, where mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, I could never do that. And I'm like, and you know, I, I get kind of offended by it just in the sense that like, of course you can, of course you can cover the Penguins. Of course you can cover the Steelers. Of course you can be in a national touring act. Um, all of this is not out of the realm of possibility. Like it's very yeah. possible for you can do it. Um, and that you can live out your dream. Um, so dream loud isn't just, um, you know, dream loud is yeah. Like go out and live your dream and live your passion and whatever it is, uh, whether it's covering hot, covering the Penguins, covering the Steelers, playing in a national touring act, go do it. Please go and do it. And, and if you can't do it, listen to us and we'll tell you that you can do it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just kind of the, the, the basis of yeah. all of it. And we just want to have guests on like yourself and whoever to inspire people. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, so you've been, it's, so again, you guys are both in professions that are outside say outside the box, right? Not sure. Your yeah. Average nine to five thing. Yeah. A little more aspirational, you know, is it, is it one of those kind of translations of like, well, you guys are kind of in the weeds with it, right? Like, yes. yeah, like, we talked about this a little bit on, on, on your show. Um, is it, is it kind of, cause I know you have like a, an interesting, uh, collection of people. You, you, yeah. I, I listened to, <laughs> I listened to one and, uh, uh, what was your 10th episode? Can't remember. Was that Jake Wells? It might've been Jake. I, the, the guy, the guy was doing the music school. Oh, that was oh, Zach. Zach. Yes. Okay. Was Zach. Uh -huh. And then like I went in an episode before and it was a guy that had a lawn service. Yeah. You know, it <laughs> yeah, was just was like, Jake, it wasn't yeah. just, it was, it was, yeah. it wasn't just like doing this big aspirational. I want to be on stage doing music. It was yeah. just like doing your own business. That's just lawn care. Yeah. You know, that's still like a big, like that, that can be a goal for somebody. Mm -hmm. And and I, yeah. I love that there's that variety, and it's not just like, well, if you're not the next Gary Vaynerchuk, then who the hell are you? Yeah, you know, yeah. There's, there's a different kind of tone to that, right? Well, the yeah. thing I found personally for me is that, um, like sometimes with the super hyper motivational type speakers that you get, you you go away feeling better about yourself. You go away feeling like really good, but that doesn't last very long normally. At least with me, yeah. that only lasts for maybe a day or and, two. And does it translate into action? Exactly, right. because You're like right. it, to me, it's I'm not talking bad about any of those people because I still think that there is a role for those type of messages in the world. Maybe to get somebody up from like a really bad spot, but um, like you said, it's kind of fluff in a sense of like yeah. it just makes you feel good, but mm -hmm. it doesn't really give you any actionable items to start making changes in your life. And and so I found for me over time that the people that have helped me make a change in my life, the the whether they be podcasters, uh, motivational speakers, authors, whatever they might be, are the people that, you know, you have to sit down with and pick their brain for a while to, to get out those nuggets of wisdom. And I wanted to have a show where we did the same type of thing. We had yeah. a longer format so that we could actually talk to these people and ask them questions, figure out, because sure. it's not, to me, the podcast isn't just about... Uh, showcasing these people to the world and helping other people i'm being a little selfish about it too it's That's helping fine. me yeah, yeah it's helping me oh uh, totally i have the people we have on our show are people that i'm interested in and having a 100%. good conversation so it's just great that you can capture that and share it and allow other people to be in the room with you mm -hmm. and to experience that yeah and, and i think kind of you know along those lines um yeah i've i've totally went back to our episodes and and 
it's like people are speaking right to me, right. Um, you know, whenever that happens. And I think not just that, um, you know, we get some of our guests and, um, you know, I, I guess I'll take you and Sorgatron Media, for example. Um, you started Sorgatron Media in 2006. Well, it started the wrestling but you may have podcast in 2006 and here you are in 2018 and you have Sorgatron media and storefront and just, um, you know, it's grown into a really great, uh, business, but nobody knows what's in the middle. I mean, right. I, there are people, mm -hmm. but like, and, and I think that's what I like to do. Those times whenever you hit that wall, when you say, Oh man, I can't do this anymore. I can't, the times when you get frustrated and that's whenever, uh, you know, to, just to keep going and to keep going. And then you'll eventually get storefront property and, you know, and, and your dreams will be, will be realized. Um, that's what I like to do. That's what I like to see. Um, you know, just kind of uh, along those lines when, um, to kind of see what's in the middle and what happened whenever you faced adversity and, mm -hmm. You know, people said you can't do it. People said no. People said your dream isn't possible. Well, it is possible. Um, and here we are now in this awesome studio and, and you know, just doing that. And, and, and I think that's possible for anyone, whether you want to own a Sorgatron Media, whether you want to do a podcast, when you want to do a lawn care business. Uh, you know, we went into an episode with, mm -hmm. with Jimmy with uh, insecurities. We had one who overcame a drug habit, which was a great episode. I love that one. Mm -hmm. We had one who um, was left at the altar. And we, and we went into that too, you know, like just those kind of things where this is real life and, and just trying to help people through that right. and, to, and to draw inspiration from it. Excellent. Um, is it, say you, you, you've been a few in, uh, you know, episodes into this. Uh, so, so you've, you've had a good collection of people. What was the most surprising maybe interview or thing that came out of an oh, interview. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, they have one in the can, right? <laughs> yeah. It's funny. You, it's funny you say that. Cause I, I think it would be what you would pick at the same time. Cause you mentioned it to us whenever we first you're right. hung out and you're right. Uh, it's uh, when we were interviewing <laughs> Jake Wellsby and he's talking about, I put in 80 hour work weeks every week. Yeah. And then I made a comment basically saying, Oh yeah. You know, like it's not just, it's not just the work you're doing out in the field. It's all the, the bookkeeping. And he's yeah, like, yeah. well, I don't even count that. Yeah. And I, was, I was like, oh, holy smokes, how much are you actually working? And then he drops this bombshell of... Right in the middle of the episode. Yeah. And he's like, and I don't even like this. I'm yeah. Like, Wait, what? It's his business. And he didn't even like it. And and that's not a not... But like right. his passion was to help other people and to mm -hmm. help them in the sense where... Um, you know, it was to, is to get their lawn night. And he, he wanted to serve people, which was awesome. Um, but it was unexpected, you know, just unexpected from our part. Cause we were so, you know, kind of, how'd you build your business? And, and it was just great. And Jake was awesome. Well, but I think that we had it, gone into it thinking, this is your dream to have this yeah, business. Yeah. But right, it yeah. really was just what he was using to make his dreams. Not everybody's reality. at the end goal. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of yeah. the thing that comes out of this too. So it's, it, it, cause it, again, like a lot of the other, you know, discussions like this are just like this person's doing this awesome thing, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it boils it down. Mm -hmm. We're still in process. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. It does, even us, and and I think, you know, we've had a handful of episodes, even some of the ones that that we've done, where like this is a dream for us, like the mm -hmm. Streamlog podcast, where like yeah, we're saying you know never give up, but like we've hit our own different pitfalls and different stumbling blocks and, and things of that nature where like, yeah, we're encouraging people to live their dreams and live it out loud. But like, this is also a dream for us, you know, on top mm -hmm. of uh, just to see it succeed, but see it succeed in the sense that uh, we want to help people and we want to help them, you know, just have yeah. great stories and help them live out their dreams. You know, also too, going along with that, and I know you've had the same thing yeah. is that um, before I was able to kind of start doing what my dream was playing in a rock band, like yeah, I want to yeah. do that since I was a kid. Uh, and, well, successfully doing it on a larger stage, it was always an enigma to me. Like, how are people doing this? How like, do we I get cannot, here? Yeah. I cannot find like an application online anywhere <laughs> <laughs> to figure out how to get this actual job. And like the few people I knew that were kind of in the industry, I would ask them and they would give me these such weird answers, like a eclectic you must, answers you must of be like, lying to me. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. But it was very frustrating why they couldn't give me like a like a direct path an application. I'm like, I'll work hard. Just tell me what I need to do. And nobody was giving me that. Well, yeah. Then lo and behold, I start doing it and I start giving the same answers to other people because it was so random. My story, yeah. it was, I was doing other things. I was working a chemistry job, but just because I treated the people that I met, uh, the relationships I built, I treated them well and everything that I did, I, I mm -hmm. just put a lot of energy and work into and, 
because of that, because of these connections, I was able to transition into that and get hooked up with that. I think that's interesting to point out too. You went from a chemistry job to yeah. your tour, like you're going on tour here in March for like a month and a half, isn't it? Or mm-hmm. something? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 that's a legit tour. That's yeah. amazing. It's a full US tour. There's like 20 some or more dates. Yeah. Wow. You're going you're going till mid April. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're going out. It's a co headlining tour with the band Red, another Pennsylvania mm-hmm. based band. So. Yeah. And and I wanted to uh, another reason to do this show, and I know Dan's had the same thing with like, how do I cover the Steelers? How do I get into this? Sure. It's mm-hmm. trying to unravel some of the enigma that surrounds this because even though like it's a weird industry in that um, there's not a direct path there because the industry changes all, all the time, but there are specific principles you can put into effect in your life that can help totally. make it make the chances of you succeeding higher. And, mm-hmm. I, and I think it's funny that you know here's Ben and he plays you know in a national act and is going to go on tour and you know I'm I covering the Penguins right now because obviously the Steelers aren't but but covered the Steelers and and their playoff games and um, you know it, but like we have the same experiences. I'm like, oh, you know, it's yeah. two completely different brands, but it's really the same that we're both doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. And we kind of lean on each other and he's like, you know, in, in different uh, times when he might be down, I can do this. And different times when I might be down, we kind of, we kind of, you know, bounce things off each other. It's really the same thing. And there are so many different parallels into what we do, um, you know, but I think a lot of it is like you said, working hard, uh, opportunity, treating people good and, and relationship with people too, um, you know, and, and not only that, but the fact that, um you're you're kind of always on audition you know like there yeah. there is no you know you're you're always you know people are taking kind of information about you and you might not even know it when like the interview process is going on right in front of you just in how you interact with someone how you how you work with someone how you treat them um and just your interactions they might think that you're a good fit or not and and a lot of that into maybe playing in a rock band maybe covering the penguins and steelers might go on with you know right in front of your nose and you don't even know it's happening mm-hmm. I mean, in both cases a very it's a very public job oh right? yeah, yeah totally so, absolutely mm-hmm. so you know it. and and that's the thing you know where um you know if you hear something in the locker room and it's you know like you don't go out and put it on Facebook. I mean, I guess it, it depends, but there's things that, um, it's a unique job and Ben has unique job. I have, you know, it's very unique. It's a lot of fun, but at the same time, like it's not this, you know, there's different things and there's sacrifices too that you have to make, mm-hmm. um, working 12 hour days, 14 hour days, 15 hour days, things like that. And, you know, just different sacrifices, but it's, but we feel it's worth it, you know, and, and it's worth yeah, it too, worth it. you know, for as much sacrifices for working on Christmas and Thanksgiving and covering games and, and that sort of thing. Like we feel it's worth it, but we're following our dreams and we encourage everybody to do that. Please yeah. go, go out and follow your, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be covering the Penguins and Steelers and playing in a national act. Please go follow your dreams. Like that's all I require of anybody listening. Mm-hmm. Um, all I want, you know, n- numbers are great and, you know, all, all that sort of things and followers and, and, and that sort of thing. But the only thing that I personally care about, and I know Ben feels the same way that like, um, we want to help influence people to, to take that step to change their life and follow their dream, whatever it is. Absolutely. Excellent. Um, so what was, you know, again, we've talked about this off air a bit, of course, but what (laughs) was, what was the biggest hurdle? You know, we we were talking about kind of starting things and I, we've had discussions (laughs) about like, you know, you know, what is that advice for you? Asked me, what was that uh-huh. advice for people starting a yeah, podcast? Yeah. You know, what was the biggest hurdle for you starting this thing? Or at least, at least, because it sounds like starting it might have been easy, but saying we have something and what's the next step to move forward, uh, uh, you know, on a regular basis, I guess. I thought it was funny and, and you kind of echoed it whenever you were on with us. Um, you know, that's on Facebook Live and that episode's probably going to drop February 12th, I think. Regardless, mm-hmm. you know, Dream Lab podcast on Facebook, but still... Hashtag um, cross-branding. Had, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know. Uh, but I think... But you said something similar when you started the Wrestling Mayhem show. Mm-hmm. Um, and you said... And even Awesome Cash, you said, we're going to do this every Tuesday. And, yeah. and Ben and I kind of... Um, it was very easy for us to start. It was awesome. We went for four hours. We were up to like one in the morning that night. I had to get up at 4.30 to go to, to work the next morning. I, I didn't care. It was great. <laughs> Look how excited he is right. about it. Oh, too. it was awesome. Uh, we had such a great time, but you know, you get that high and, and even whenever you put out on Facebook, everyone was so great. And, and then you reach those times where you don't know if anybody's listening and you don't know mm-hmm. if anybody's watching. Uh, but then you get little bits of nuggets mm-hmm. when you find out that people are watching and you are kind of making a difference. Um, I think there's a lot of that, but I think something Ben said, and, and going back to my original point, um, you know, Ben kind of said, and we were kind of 
you know, kind of putting together the different things, we're going to come out every Monday. And we know that we're going to have this episode and we have this commitment to do this episode. We need to do this every single Monday. So we better have an episode for this Monday, next Monday, whatever Monday it is. And that's the same thing with, you know, your tour coming up. Like we yeah. better have an episode coming up. You know, that's just kind of what, and I think that kind of helped us continue and just kind of plug along whenever we don't know if anybody's listening. We don't know if, um, you know, we're making an impact. We don't, we aren't maybe getting some numbers that we're used to, um, you know, but then you kind of hear from this person, maybe you get a text message, maybe you get a, a Facebook message you hear in person, like, and, and we just kind of relay that to each other. And, hey, Ben, I heard this from this person. And it just yeah. kind of, it just kind of reinforces it. And, and it just kind of gives you that little boost that like, yeah, maybe you are doing something right. Maybe this is kind of working. Maybe people are enjoying it because all, all we want to do is help and inspire. And sometimes we're not getting, you know, which is fine. It's okay. You know, people have lives and they're busy lives, but, um, you know, I think that uh, whenever you get that little bit of feedback and then we made that commitment to come out every Monday and we were like, yeah, like this is what and this is what we're going to do. And we just keep plugging on despite, um, you know, some of those challenges and some of those uh, different hurdles. I would I would say to echo onto that, too, maybe slightly different, but sure, along yeah. the same vein. Uh, for me, staying grounded even after episode one, because the reason episode one was so easy totally. because you're right. Uh, you know, we're just having a conversation with friends yeah. and we just happen to have microphones in the room capturing it. You're, but you're right. As soon yeah. as like that's dropped, it's an official channel now. Yeah. And you have fans, you have expectation. And, and there was so much excitement around episode one and so many people tuning in yeah. and so many comments and so many like, Oh, asking questions. And, and then, and, and there was so much response. And then maybe you ask that question a couple weeks later and you don't get as much and that's yeah. fine. But you're right, yeah. And you don't want to let people down. Definitely. That's the thing. So being able to to continuously bring like a high quality show and your best A game, yeah. even when you're dealing with thoughts of like, I don't know if the channel is growing or not, but I think you have to reduce it to um, treating it like it. it's just people talking in the room, just friends talking in the room. You're totally. interviewing and focus, focus on the conversation. I, I think that's probably continuously been the toughest thing for me yeah not like super hard but yeah, i have right. to keep it in my mind all the time and just just realize you know uh let's put our head down and, yeah and do this the reason we're doing it is because we love it and oh, yeah we think it's good content so um you know we'll shift if we feel like we need to make a change but sure. you know just don't don't allow the ups and down emotions of like yeah every day to affect you that much well i think it was funny like we were doing um you know, kind of around december we were doing um you know a 2008 goals for 2018 and yeah. we want to do this in video and we want to do this and have this many numbers and we were just kind of laying out some goals mm -hmm. and um i remember we had an, an episode that didn't get as much <clears throat> excuse me after that and um you know we we and i you know, just kind of different things. We had goals. We're going to do this, this, and then we're going to take over yeah. the world. And, but, yeah. you know, and then, um, you know, I had to pump the brakes a little bit in the same thing. And, and I, and, and this is kind of where that comes from. Uh, and I, I mentioned it to you and, and your wife where, um, you know, at this point where I'm at, um, you know, numbers are great and they're awesome and, and downloads are great and we want to have a million downloads. But I think like, Right now, my biggest goal is affecting one person. Mm -hmm. um, if yeah. we get one download and that one download, the, the only requirement for that one download is they have to be taking steps to follow their dream. Uh, and we might not know that's the case, but that's my personal only goal. And that kind of put yeah. an end to that. Some of that insecurity where like, we need to do this. And then you're not seeing it. And you're like, well, what's happening? Mm -hmm. um, so that I kind of had to pump the brakes a little bit, which was fine. It was mm -hmm. well needed. Um, but, uh, you know, right now my goal is to, you know, you want to see different numbers, but my goal is to get at least one, but with one download, have, you know, one person or two, a handful of people, uh, take steps to follow their dream, go out and do it, you know, it, go out and follow your dream, you know, like it's not, you know, it's not, nothing is impossible. Go out and do it, you know? Well, it's a great podcast. I've had a blast to uh, listen to it. Oh, it's it's in my, it's yeah, my, thank you. it's in my rotation now, cool. uh, officially. So <laughs> Uh, so yeah. where can people find the podcast and please let people know where they can find the things that you're doing outside the podcast too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll go first. So, sure. yeah. um, the podcast, you can find us on iTunes, Google play music. Uh, we also have links to 
Well, actually, we're on Podbean. That's what we Podbean's uh, one that's where that we, we send the to, RSS feed out through. So you can Podbean and iTunes are the two where we get kind of the the most effective. Yeah, is that I, right? I'm just on Google Play Music because I use that as a streaming service. So sure, sure. Why not throw it up there too? So right, if you right. use Google, go ahead. But iTunes is where we get most. I think it's like 99 percent of all the listens are through iTunes. Is so. that right? Oh yeah, I didn't know that. Uh huh. So okay. you can check cool. it out. <laughs> you can ch- you can check that out through there, uh, whether it's the podcast app or iTunes itself. Um, and then facebook.com slash podcast. We post about events that we're having. We also have a few Facebook Live. So you can watch back the podcast. Um, like Sorg's podcast. Yeah, like that we did with him. So we have the audio separate from the video right, right now. But uh, you can check video out of a, a few of the episodes. Um, personally, so what I'm doing, uh, I have a studio, uh, a recording studio that I mainly focus on rock bands, but I do recording, mixing, mastering. And the website is dreamloudstudio.com. You can check that out. Um, You must plug the podcast again. (laughs) I know. I just dream loud everything over here. Dream loud. And then I tour with Lacey Sturm. Um, It's just her name. She's she's a solo artist now. Used to be in the band Flyleaf. And we're going out with Red. You can find her. uh, Tour dates are online. Just search her name. Go go see them. LaceySturm.com. I'm just, well, just thanks, go see them. They're <laughs> awesome live. And, and they're I, great people. And I guaranteed everybody on the last show. Was it the last show we did or the one before? I but think I, it was the last show. I guaranteed or, everybody. Well, two, two ago, yeah. The greatest performances of my life you would see live. So don't, you don't want to miss it. No, it oh, it's <laughs> it really is a great show. My wife and I saw them, I think, six times last year. And you guys um, are ridiculous. Yeah, well, the, but it's a, it's a great show. And you, they're, you, know, you guys are just great people. And yeah, um, you don't come across that too often. Um, I can say that in the sports world. And I'm sure you can say that in music you know just the the people you know that you deal with well you do in the metal world because we don't make any money sure. but <laughs> <laughs> yeah right um that's not true we do make some yeah but no i i think to, to kind of to kind of piggyback off of ben um you know we do a lot on facebook dream loud podcast on facebook um you know we have different quotes and photos from the different episodes uh along with quotes uh events uh we we just started dabbling into video uh so we have a uh, video of a hand full of episodes four or five mm-hmm. uh not not video of all but uh four or five um you know video excuse me we do um uh quotes events the facebook live um we have instagram dream Lab, dream Lab podcast on instagram mm-hmm. um like you said we do a lot with the pod bean with itunes and unbeknownst to me now a lot more i, kn- I knew we were on google play but i didn't know how, how much we were supposed to google only, play i may be the only one that digested through there but that's fine that worked but pod bean <laughs> google play itunes yeah. um and i think i think something you know another goal of ours is um you know, we kind of want to build our, our Facebook community. Our Facebook community is great, and the people who who follow are awesome. They're just you know, good people and have really helped and supported us, and we really appreciate it. But I think a goal of ours is um, we kind of want to build the Facebook community, and we want people to share their dreams, and, and um, you know, we want to help people through that, like uh, legitimately, like send me a message on Facebook, send Ben a message, send us a message on Dream Lab Podcast. Um, you know, we want to help people through that, and, and um, you know, we kind of want to, form a community on Facebook and, and things of that. that. That's kind of a goal, you know, kind of a long-term mm-hmm. goal of ours. And, and to do that the same with, um, you know, when we do our episodes too. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, you know, just kind of the, the, the Facebook community and Instagram and uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything else. And, and just the Podbean site and iTunes too. And where can people find what you're working on? Uh, I do. I, I work full time with the Latro Bulletin. Uh, we're online, but we're a subscription site. But I do, um, you know, I do news meetings. Uh, I do high school sports. I do college. Um, I also cover the Penguins and Steelers. Um, I did two Super Bowls, three Stanley Cups, um, covered the, the U.S. Open, but that's all through the Latro Bulletin. Uh, that's full time, but I also do work through USA Hockey. Um, so USA Hockey will post stories every once in a while. In addition to the Associated Press, um, I'll do, you know, kind of Penguin games on, on the AP um, and just kind of, um, you know, sometimes whenever you read something on ESPN.com, it's kind of filtered. The AP provides that, um, but uh, it's just kind of game by game. So it's not on every game. It's just whenever uh, needed. But uh, you work through the Associated Press covering Penguins and Steelers um, and then through, um, 
sorry, I lost track, uh, through USA Hockey and in addition to the Late Show Bulletin. But that's that's pretty much it, that and mm-hmm. the podcast and that sort of thing. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Again, please go Thank check you. out the Dream Loud podcast and check out all the great interviews we have going on, awesomecast.com on the awesome chat feed on whatever podcast catcher that you have going on out there or the playlist over on the Awesome Cast YouTube page or on the Facebook uh, uh, video page as well for Awesome Cast. Uh, thank you so much for everybody. Thank you to my awesome guests. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.